people on social media seem worried about your financial position and the company and the exchange rate in Russia, um, but I'm sure you're not too bothered. Oh, no, <laughs> exchange rate is bothers me for the business, for my Tinkoff bank. Uh, it's not so good, but the, t the budget of the team is fully secured because we have Specialized as a sponsor. We have a Saxa Bank as a sponsor, not only Tinkoff Bank, and uh, also Tinkoff Bank is still paying. I mean, it's not huge money for my bank because bank makes over hundred million dollars so in net income and we can survive it's it's not good uh, it's not good for the business it's not it's not about cycling team it's in general not good for my business but we're still okay we're still making money and we continue to support cycling yeah I'm very excited actually and we are looking forward to have lots of wins and important wins because as you can see our strategy our team strategy is not about to win it's about to win the most important races <laughs> so, I mean every every good rider they have a pressure they pressure they have a pressure from themselves so Peter prop has pressure but I mean he's professional and um, not if he doesn't win it's a, first of all it's a sport and second he has a lot of uh, a lot of strong competitors. Uh, it's it's not easy to win classic. That's why it's that's why it is uh, very important, and that's why it's very prestigious to win because it's not easy to win. It's never guaranteed. But Peter's such a talent, so we hope he will be. I think Milan San Remo is something that he normally should win. It is uh, the classic of the classics. First of all, then um, it's uh, nearby my Italian house, and. Um, I think it's most suitable for him, but my f favorite classic for myself is still uh, Flanders. And if he would win Flanders, I would be over happy. Can Alberto do the double? Sure, he will be. <laughs> but some guys are only doing the Giro or only doing the Tour, so maybe it's going to be difficult for him. Yeah, it is, but uh, he is the strongest and he has good form now. We just recently, uh, two weeks ago, we were together training up in Spain and Teide and we looking good and he's confident uh, and the fact that all of the other JC contenders they hiding from him at Giro tells that he is the strongest one there are a lot of polemics has been going last year who is the strongest and that's what I'm still fighting with we have to understand who is the strongest out of those four in the races not just to try to calculate the points from whatever races uh, and uh, I think the clear answer is this year, when Alberto decides to go Giro, no one else wants to go Giro. And they are very happy to go directly to the Tour. Which means they afraid him, which means it is not fair, but it's good. Nobody accepted your challenge about riding all the Grand Tours. Maybe you need to increase the, the prize money they, they offered to maybe 5 million or 10 million maybe. I don't think it's about money. Uh, first of all, it's about um, it's about changing the rules. It should be rule. Uh, and uh, team uh, team management uh, should be more smart. Because now uh, it's very difficult to do anything proper in cycling. Because each team for themselves and they're looking for their interest. So when Alberto decided to go Giro again, all of the other teams, they were over happy that he's doing that. And they have a more chance to win Tour de France, to prove to their sponsor that they're strong. Whatever. It's, a, it's not about the money. I don't think there are any number that can let them start. Because at the end of the day, this is not the rider decision. This is the team decision. And uh, for most of the team, for, the, for them it's important to win Tour de France. Uh, that's why they put all money on it. Because uh, if they don't win the Tour de France, they might lose the sponsor or so on and so forth. So. It, it, it is a difficult uh, subject, uh, but I, I'm so glad that my idea had so much uh, polemic about it. And I think it will get eventually somewhere. It, it's changing, it's become better and better. As you can see, less and less doping in the peloton. On, um, now, I like what actually Lance Arpson, Lance Arpson said in his recent interview. He said, would have been a racing now in 2000. 15 I, I would not use the doping that means the time has changed has changed and uh, I think it's a good sign and of course the fact that 
how UCI handled that Astana case is not uh, exciting actually. Uh, I don't know what would be the right decision, but the way they done it is not good. That still means that Cookson need to change something in his policy. I don't see why Vinakurov or Ries cannot be the team manager. Uh, for me, it's uh, for me it's very clear. Uh, they. I understand both confessed, they bo both said that they involved with the doping, so what? Uh, I, I think, in, I know in every team, uh, the, do you find the team member that has been involved uh, in doping? And I don't see the big trouble with it. Once they confessed, once everybody know that, and they admit it. I, I think it's like in the normal life, everyone has a... Everyone has a time for a mistake. I mean, but then they they should come back. But once they cut again, or if they organize in the uh, organized doping, my idea they have to be not banned, but they have to be jailed. For example, if Ries or Vinakurov would be convicted with the organized doping system, like now, they have they have to be in jail. Not banned from the sport. I have to be in jail. That's a criminal activity to me. But I'm quite sure they do not do that. Therefore, why they cannot manage the team? I mean, they they serve their bans, and they are they are free now to do uh, what they want to do. We, we cannot ban them from profession. That's my opinion. But that's my general idea for the riders or whoever. Doping, yes. Once you can do the mistake, but the second. For me, it's a live ban, for, or jail for the uh, sport directors, even. For the riders, it's a live, because it's too liberal. They cage, eh, then a couple of months later, you see them racing again. It's too liberal. It should be very strict. One time, okay, two years, fine. After two years, come back another time, live ban. Because when you see the situation like with Rico, or with some other guys, or was De Luca, that's ridiculous. Those guys been caught like five, six times or whatever. That's really crazy. I think one, okay, you can make a mistake once, like for the child, right? You love him, so one time, nice. No, there is no second chance. There is no second chance. That's my philosophy. Therefore, Vinakurov, Lefebvre, or whoever, they deserve to be in the peloton. And because previous, they all been involved somehow in the doping because that was the era.